Humanity has wondered about the cosmos and asked many questions. How big is it? How does it work? Why do things move the way they do? We're still asking those questions today. Even though we know a lot more about the universe than we did then. Allow me to share some of the things we've discovered. Allow me to share When talking about the scale of the Earth and the solar system, it's best to start with something that we can easily comprehend. The Voyage Scale Model of our Universe in Washington, D.C reveals some truly amazing things about the size of our solar system. It's a 1 to 10 billion scale of our universe. In it, the sun is equal to a large grapefruit, Jupiter to a marble, and the earth to a ballpoint pen. This scale also shows the distance between the Earth and the Sun, with the Earth being 16.5 yards away from the Grapefruit Sun in this scale of the solar system. The Voyager scale model also helps to put space travel into perspective the moon, the only body that we humans have walked on other than Earth, is about one and a half inches away from the Earth, meaning that you could cover all of explored space with the palm of your hand in this model. Now, if we used the Voyager scale model to walk to Pluto, it would only take a couple of minutes. However, if we were to walk from Washington DC to California, that would be the distance between our sun and the next closest star. As you can imagine, this makes for a lot of technical troubles when trying to view the stars. The distance is so great and it makes a star equal in size and brightness to our own appear like a grapefruit wood from California to Washington, D.C. A very bright grapefruit, mind you. you can imagine the difficulty in finding planets around these stars. It's like trying to find marbles or ballpoint pens around this grapefruit. The sad truth about this is that interstellar space travel is impossible, at least for now.
in order to talk about the size of the Milky Way, we must first make our scale even smaller so that the whole size of the Milky Way is equal to about that of a football field. Now, our solar system would be a microscopic dot on the 20 yard line, and the nearest star would be 0.17 inches away from us, or smaller than your pinky finger. If you stood at this location at our model and reached out your arms, millions of star systems would be within your grasp. Another way to put this is that if you counted one star every second for 3,000 years, then you would have counted all the stars in the galaxy. As incredible in size as our Milky Way galaxy may seem, it's just one out of many galaxies in the cosmos. And just as it would take you thousands of years to count all the stars in the Milky Way, it would take you thousands of years to count all the galaxies in the universe. stars contained within these galaxies, then it would equal about every single grain of sand on every single beach on the planet Earth. Guys, I wanted to take a break from the cosmos and uh, make a few announcements. Number one, if you're not subscribed to the channel, I'm coming to your home with a baseball bat and I'm breaking your knees. All right? Like, uh, yeah, there's no, there's no... Not that we have developed a sense of scale for the size of the universe. Let's do the same thing with time. This is possible by setting up something called a cosmic calendar, in which the Big Bang happens on January 1st, and the present day is the stroke of midnight on December 31st. On the cosmic calendar, the Milky Way was formed in February, and our universe was formed four and a half billion years ago in September. Animals began to walk the Earth in mid-December. Dinosaurs were born the day after Christmas, and they went extinct yesterday. most incredible thing about this calendar is that humans only show up in the last half second, with the Egyptians building the pyramids only 11 seconds ago.
though you may not feel the effects of Earth's rotation, you're actually hurtling around the universe, spinning 600 miles per hour. On top of this, we are orbiting around the sun at around 60,000 miles per hour. Rotation and orbit are only small pieces of how Earth travels throughout the universe because the solar system itself is also on a great journey. Let's begin with local solar neighborhoods and the rotation of our solar system. These solar neighborhoods contain a few million stars each and travel around 40,000 miles per hour. Our great solar system completes an orbit of the Milky Way every 230 million years. It travels 500,000 miles per hour. galaxies in our universe also move relative to each other, and a couple smaller ones even orbit the Milky Way. However, if we look at galaxies outside of our local circle, we see two things. Number one, virtually every galaxy that's farther away from us is also moving away from us. And number two, the farther the galaxy, the faster it moves. We believe all this is because the universe is still expanding. is massive, almost infinite in its size. So mysterious, so unknown, and yet there's something familiar about it. There's something reassuring about looking at the stars. We are a generation born between two great eras. The exploration of Earth and the exploration of space. 
we humans have worked very hard to get where we are today. And we will work very hard to get where we are going. Because humanity perseveres. We push on. We did it on Earth. And now, you must do it in space. Thank you all for watching.